calving started here on the 25th of January, so we're um, with 33 milking now at the moment. Um, and we just yesterday we divided the cows into two groups, so we have 13 cows that are calved more than five days and they're out grazing full time. And we have 22 cows at the moment that are in on bale silage and they'll be, we just we just give them, while the cows are fresh, just to sort of be make no mistakes with milk and boil tanks and, and you know, that crack. So we just keep them in for five days before they go to grass to the rest of them. Cabin is going very well. We have one set of twins, uh, so we're, we, we didn't lose any so far, so good. Um, and we have, so we're running 53 or 4% heifers, I think, at the moment, so it's great. Um, yeah, the, the, the plan is, according to the dates, to have 110 calving in February and 30 calving in March. And that's it, then the last two calves are due to calve on the 1st of April. So at the moment we're being kept very busy calving. Um, the, the aim is to try and get two litres of colostrum into every calf within the first hour, but like if cow calves, if 20 minutes later you can really feed them and they'll take it. Um, we, we try and get the calf to suckle the teeth to take the milk, but if we fail, we do with so much open with no problems with so much open, but we'd much prefer if they had to eat. So grazing cows are out full time uh, five days after the calf. So at the moment we have one paddock grazed. Uh, we started the cows off nice and easy. There was a cover of maybe six or seven hundred, just nice little pick of grass there just to get the cows used to grazing. Uh, so now that that's gone, they're after moving into a heavier cover. They're probably grazing something like twelve or thirteen hundred. Um, average farm cover is sitting somewhere around the nine hundred kgs. Um, must do a proper measure now um, this week. We haven't measured since the 31st of December this year. Uh, so we'll see how we go. The plan is to get 30% grazed in February and another 30% grazed by Patrick's Day. Um, so we, sh we should, we're grazing full time, there's no reason why we won't be able to make those targets. So we're after going over slurry on a third of the grazing ground uh, back in the 15th or 16th of January, there as soon as the, the date opened. Um, so we went out with the lighter covers on that. At the moment we're looking at the weather forecast, waiting for it to get a small bit milder before we go with urea. Um, Michael, depends right. on when that's going to happen now, but it could be a bag urea. If it's a Michael. week or ten days time before the weather warms up a small bit, it'll be a bag urea and just get it done. We'll be hoping that we can replicate what we did last year, really. We grew 14 tonnes of grass last year, it was up, on, it was up two tonnes on previous years. But if we can maintain that, I think we'll be happy enough. I suppose we all know the outlook for 2015 is poor enough. Um, Maybe the tide is turning a small bit if you look at the last two, three auctions that Frontier are after running, the price of milk is moving in the right direction. At the same time, we're going to have to control it as much as we can within the farm gate. We're going to keep an eye on cost best we can. We're going to do regress on our cost control planner this year. We're going to do it at the end of every month. After that, just run the ship as tidy and as straight as we can.